Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. What up, y'all? Thought I had forgotten about Alcat? No, 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 no. In the midst of all this Baldur's Gate 3 hype, I am still absolutely following Rogue Trader. I know y'all also keep asking about when am I going to do more Wrath of the Righteous content? I don't know. I'm still burnt out right now. So at some point, I might circle back to that game. But for right now, I'm going to stick with Baldur's Gate 3. But absolutely, when Rogue Trader comes out, I'm going to be all over it. Now, my understanding is this trailer uh, is has something to do with companions. And uh, I read a little bit of a tweet message. It seems like romances might also be announced in here. So really excited. Let's see what Alcat has in store for us. Alcat Games. Warhammer! Trader, your endowed authority allows you to recruit crew members from almost any echelon of the Imperium. Let's take Absolutely. a look at your options. Avalar Versarion, the Seneschal of your dynasty. Ooh, it tells a you your, their romantic advisor. preferences. He has endured many battlefield encounters. He and looks different. Of returning blows on the enemies of House Von Velasquez. Wow, they changed his look. Idira Talas, unsanctioned psyker. She is a powerful, you can't romance her? Diviner, whose a... psychic wow, okay, so they all look different, I guess. Yeah. Offensive capabilities. Pascal Hanayman, Magos Explorator. Makes this, he's not Utility interested in romance. Name. Woo! Buffs and debuffs galore, but he is not helpless hmm. on his own either. I hope they've powerful upgraded the depth some. very much his game. Cassia or Celio, navigator. Oh, only men can romance her, okay. Mutant navigator powers, she can provide crucial aid to your party and unleash the power of her third I love leader. That class is so awesome to use. Heinrich van Kalox, or huh. interrogator. Okay. A sanctioned psyker and combat <laughs> veteran. He prefers nice. to confront his enemies head on, shielding and empowering himself. I'm going to corrupt the crap abilities. out of them if I can. Jai Hadari, cold trader. Her says she goes both ways. Is unmatched. Under her direction, even the weakest member of your party will become a serious threat. Sister Argenta of the Adepta Sororitas. Alcat, you're gonna have to give in the pressure and make her romanceable. Faith, and turn a even in the most She's gonna be in my party regardless. She's awesome. Ulfa. Space Marine mm. Battle Brother. Mm -hmm. Though he excels Woo! in all forms of warfare. Okay, yeah, they've definitely been busy and made some updates. This looks a lot better than um, the beta that praise. was released. And Iliad Lanavis, an Unknown. Ranger. That's interesting. Her okay. Her ranged combat abilities are second to none. Wielding her superior long rifle, she can eliminate Leave people foes from suspense. extreme distances. <laughs> There will be a very diverse roster of companions available, offering nice. countless possibilities in both gameplay and the narrative. I can't wait. Start thinking now Ooh. about the kind of crew you will assemble. Will you be a staunch follower of the Imperial Creed? Hell or risk no. more dangerous associations? Chaos. Explore the Coronas Expanse in co-op mode on PC. Whoa. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Usual information. Wait, wait, wait. What did that Will say? Be a staunch follower of the Imperial co-op mode, or risk more dangerous associations. I'm pretty sure you couldn't do co-op in Wrath of the Righteous, right? So, does that mean we could do like a Rogue Trader playthrough together? Bruh. <laughs> That be bananas. Wow. I actually didn't see that coming at all. Well, I, I hope I'm interpreting that uh, 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 properly. Uh, oh, I wonder if that also means that um they'll release co-op mode at some point in beta before the game fully releases. Because like Baldur's Gate 3, when the game fully releases, I'm probably going to want to just do a live stream playthrough like on my own so that people are able to easily follow it, watch the cutscenes, things of that nature. But if we're doing it in the beta, I'm not worried about people following it. So we could just all just jump in, play around with the systems and have a ball. Man, I hope they let us do that. Okay, okay. Well, look, y'all already knew. I'm all over 
this. I'm all over Warhammer. I can't wait until this comes out. Well, again, I'm still working through some of my Baldur's Gate 3 content, but when they give us an actual release date for this, or when they do another massive patch uh, to the beta, I'll definitely be doing more content for this game. I want to keep y'all tuned in. Uh, of course, I play just about everything Owlcat comes out with, so... I'm looking forward to getting into this as well. And so far, I'm happy with what I've seen from Rogue Trader. They did say on Twitter uh, that there's one more companion that they had to announce. And uh, he, he will be available for both male and female romances. And hopefully he's going to be a little bit more of the chaotic variety. But the party members that they already have, from what I saw in the alpha, fantastic storylines, fantastic voice acting, the kind of content you expect to get from an Outcat game. I'm really, really excited for what they're gonna do. Baldur's Gate 3 is fantastic, but I miss having five to six people in my party all at once. Rogue Trader's gonna scratch that itch for me. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, that's my reaction to this trailer. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Take care.